I'm Lydia Elizabeth Kasenene, the headmistress of Kasis Primary School. Before the lunch program, many of our children would stay hungry. Many of our children now come every day because they expect a cup of porridge. Because of lunch program and other programs supporting each other, the academic performance of Kasis Primary School has been excellent. I'm Dominic and been here working for four years and I do like my job. We have approximately 850 pupils who take porridge every day. Making porridge, I put on water. When it boils, I mix maize flour into boiled water and after an hour, my porridge can be served as well. We have got a biogas plant. That one is going to support conservation education, cutting of trees, because we are using a lot of firewood. And you can imagine a biogas to support over 1,000 children because we prepare porridge for them. So which means we shall have lessened on tree cutting. I remain Francis Rwabuhinga, one of the employees of the Cassisi project. Uh, it is very simple. It's just a matter of getting a hard brush with a long stick on it. Then you get down, place it there in that trench which is constructed, which has got connections with the other compartments down there. Then from that, we mix it with water. Then we make sure we pick all the unwanted, the waste. They say, uh, it's like polythene papers, they say stones. We remove the sticks, then after we mix it. We used to, sometimes used to steal students to go and collect any bottle they come across. In that way, we are removing waste from the environment. Then from there, the mansion, those people, the constructors, they could come and use them as bricks. And remember the Cassisi project, its mission is to conserve Kiwale National Park and ensure its sustainability. Conservation is the key in as far as Cassis project is concerned.